Hey crafters, Lisa here with Fun Stuff Crafts. So glad you stopped by my channel today. And if you're new to my channel, click on the subscribe button down below. And if you click on the bell, YouTube should alert you each time I upload a new video. If you'd like to follow me on social media, I've also got those links down below. So it's Inspiration Friday. What do we got going today? So I thought it would be fun to use another type of material and cut with our Cricut Maker. And so today we are going to be cutting felt and making these really cute rolled flowers. Now I've done rolled flowers before with paper, but I have not done them with felt. And let me tell you, your Cricut Maker cuts felt like it's slicing through butter. So I'm so excited to show you guys this project. So just give me a second to get my camera angle changed and we will get making. Okay, so I've already cut out quite a few flowers, but I want to show you guys a trick I used. Cutting with felt is a lot like cutting with leather, and it leaves quite a, a mess on your mats. So the trick I learned that I showed you guys when we were doing the leather earrings a couple weeks ago is to put some strong grip mat paper right on your mat, and then you put the felt on it. So all the fuzz from the felt is actually gonna stick to your strong grip paper instead of your mat. Um, so I'm just gonna put this on and I'm just gonna show you this one. I'm not gonna make you guys sit through me cutting out all these flowers, but I wanted to make sure you guys saw this one trick on being able to save your mats. Um, because it definitely has worked very um, well for me. That is if I can get a hold of the mat or the transfer tape and it's being ornery for me. There we go, we got it there. Okay, so then all I do is remove the tape and what I do then is, this is the sticky side of the tape, I'm going to put my felt right down on that tape. So then when I go to cut, all of the film is going to come off and be on that tape. Um, all the fuzzy stuff, excuse me, is going to be on the tape and not on your mat. So basically we can just bring our mat forward. Now I have changed my um, setting and I am using my rotary blade. You can cut felt with a fine toy point um, tip. So your um, Air 2 will work perfectly fine for this project. I just really like using the rotary blade for this type of cut. So I'm going to go ahead and let the Cricut do its work here. And then I'm going to join you back with all of the flowers I've got cut out and we're going to put them together. So I just um, ejected it from my mat or from my machine and I want to show you now how nice this cuts. So if I pull up and you can see my transfer tape is all pulling up and if I pull up that, it has just got, look how nice my Cricut has cut. And there is my flower all cut and I've got the transfer tape right on the back I just pull that right off it pulls right off of my mat and you can see I'll show you on if I look at this right now you can see that film but that is all on my transfer tape so it is not going to be on my mat at all so I'm going to go ahead and cut out a few more and then we are going to get together and put these flowers together and have our project all done. So now the fun begins. We get to start putting our flowers together. So I've got a couple different um, colors I've done up, some really pretty yellow, 
um, a really pretty mauve red and then a, an assortment of leaves that I ended up cutting out now this is one of the rosettes I've already put together and you guys can see just how cute it is and when we're done I picked up this really cute sign at a craft store when I was um, on the road with my husband last week and so we're going to add the flowers to this and then I also in my stash I had this dream it's metal so we're gonna put that on and then we're gonna put the flowers around it so the flowers are really easy they can be intimidating but they're really easy so let's go ahead and start with our red one you always start from the outside okay and this is going to be your inside base now i've done it a couple different ways whenever i do paper flowers i usually always use a tool tooling i can't even say that word tool but this felt is pretty easy so all you're going to do is take it and wrap it in a circle it's pretty easy you're just going to go round and each one of these little scallops is making are really cute leaves so see how i'm just i'm trying to keep the bottom as flat as possible and then when we get to the very end we will add on a bit of glue to hold it all together so like i say they look a little intimidating um i can't say that i have mastered all the different um, flower cuts that are out there but these ones definitely you guys can do so love to see what you guys come up with but see how pretty that is coming it is just really got a tight um like a really a rosebud is what i would kind of call it um just really pretty so i just keep going round and round i'm keeping that bottom as flat as i can and then i've got my trusty glue gun all heated up and so what I'm going to do is I am just trying to get that bottom just right. Oops, not quite, Lisa. There we go. This one's pretty big, so might need to add a little bit of extra glue to it. So right before I get to the end, when I've still got a little bit of a tail there, I'm going to go ahead and take my glue gun and I am going to coat that bottom part right there with my glue gun and glue guns don't always like me seems like i always have a way of burning myself a little bit but see how i'm coming around and i'm going to put that right there on that bottom piece so then we can turn our flower out and how cute is that now i think i'm going to add just a couple bits of glue around this bottom edge oops i lost my glue stick let me grab that jumped right out of there on me so I'm gonna add just a few more pieces of drips of glue there just so that outer edge wasn't catching on the bottom all the way but look how cute that is so see when we get all done we'll start adding those and decide how we want to arrange them so I'm gonna keep going putting these together um, and you guys can just watch now one other one I was just going to show you is if you're not comfortable doing the twirling Cricut's got these great um, tweezers you can grab the bottom of it and twist it around that way if you're more comfortable with that so let's do this one that way and see how I'm just twisting it around basically the same as what I was doing it before but I've just got the tweezers holding that center for me. So hopefully you guys can see that okay. And then what I'll have to do is just make sure my bottom is still, stays nice and flat. I'm actually gonna take my tweezers out now that I've got a good start on it. And I can just use my thumb. And you just wanna keep pulling it tight. You can always add a little bit of glue if you need to. And see how that's just really tight in there. You guys can see how I've got that. Change my camera angle today for this project so you guys could really see 
the flowers. Okay, I've got a little bit left there. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my glue gun here. And why my glue keeps popping out, I'm not sure. I'm gonna go ahead and put my good dollop of glue on there, bring it around, and then put my bottom on. Okay, and I'm gonna add a little bit of glue on that last edge there. Just seems like that one edge doesn't quite want to grab. And how cute is that? Got no, now we got another cute little yellow one. So see how cute are those? So I'm gonna go ahead and probably fast forward through these next ones. We'll get these ones done and then we will attach them. And I wanna show you some cute things that we can do with the leaves also. Um, that give them a little bit of dimension. So, just get these done and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we've got our flowers all put together. So now what I wanna do is I wanna show you how we can give the leaves just a little bit of dimension. So it's really, really easy. And so all you need to do is take your glue gun and just put a tiny strip of glue right down the bottom there corner of the leaf and just pinch it together. Really easy. And then that, instead of our leaves laying all flat on our thing, we can actually have some with a little bit of dimension. So I can even do it with this larger one. Yeah, so I'm gonna do it to all of them, but I just wanted to show you that this is just another idea of how we can add our leaves. So let's kind of look at our design and see what we want to do. So as I said, I've got this cute little frame and I literally picked it up for about three bucks um, at a hobby store I was at when I was traveling with my husband. Basically, it's just a frame with chicken wire, something you could easily put together. Um, and then I just have a whole big stash of um, these metal. Um, I've got Dream and I've got Imagine. I've got all kinds of them. And I picked them up, but I haven't figured out anything to do with them yet. So I thought this would be a cute project. So all I'm going to do is um, I'm going to pull the wire behind them. Oops. And I'll secure the wire here. And then what we'll do is we'll add in... Um, add the flowers and I think that this will be such a cute um, a cute project you can get that as a gift or you know just hang it up um, somewhere in your house so um, I'll go ahead and play with this and then we will add in our flowers Okay, so I just used my needle nose pliers and I secured that dream in and I thought it looked really cute kind of at an angle. So now we just need to decide how we want to add our, our flowers in and our leaves. So this is where you just get to be, you know, creative and we will just start adding a little bit of glue and I'm just going to... That right there Put that there and those strings of glue just go everywhere squeeze him in there a little bit That looks really cute. And then I think I'll bunch these guys up kind of together. Love the, the yellow is just so bright and colorful. I think I'll put that guy over there. You know, you do what you want what you guys think looks right. And I think I'm gonna put that guy right there. And how easy was this project? I think I'll add in another leaf over here. I think I'll just leave that one flat just so I can have a little bit of difference in. I wanna 
cover my dream up though. So let's angle him a little bit more so. Yeah, let's see. Maybe we won't put him there. What do you guys think? How cute is that? So just one more thing that our Cricut can cut. And it cuts um, felt just absolutely beautiful. So let me know what you think about this project. Thanks for joining me. I hope you like this Inspiration Friday project. And thanks so much for joining me on this tutorial on making felt flowers. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on that bell to remind you each time I upload a new video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to check out my blog at funstuffcrafts.com where I've got lots more DIY type videos.